Hello everyone, welcome to your June 2020 general reading. So before I begin, I just want to explain how to get a personal reading. All you need to do is to follow the link in the description below this video. Okay, below the video you have the description and all the links that you need for the merchandise, for personal readings and for the meditation channel as well because I'm going to go and start going live and meditate with, uh, with you guys if you subscribe. Okay, so if you want to do that, you just need to follow those links. I'm using as well the Energy Oracle cards, so uh, it's, it's a really nice deck. I didn't know about this, this deck and I'm quite excited to use it. I've used it in personal readings already. You can also check my social media, my Instagram or my Facebook. Also, um, thank you so much for liking, sharing and subscribing to the channel. So don't forget to give a like and if you find messages here especially, okay? Uh, this is a general reading so it may not be all for you, all the messages. Maybe also the role could be reversed. The energy could be the other person if, you, if it's in a love situation. So just keep an open mind and, and yes, that's it. So um, thank you so much and let's begin now with your sign. Hello Cancer, welcome to your reading. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, June 2020. Cancer. Oh, the King of Coins. This is continuation from the month of May. The King of Coins. Someone that wants to give you stability, wants to give you... Um, some sort of message as well offer this could be someone that is inviting you to do something even connected to business um, receiving also receiving some money here king of pentacles this could be a loan this could be a grant Anything connected to finances, there is, you re will be receiving. But um, what's crossing is the Princess of Pentacles. So this could also be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And could be connection to someone that you have children with. They're offering to help out. They're offering to help you more or being there more for you if you do have children for you and the or the child okay depending on your circumstances prince of wands wow this person in the near future you have someone very passionate coming in okay they may come from afar or they could be a leo sag aries someone very passionate about what they do uh, and about you as well so there's a lot of chemistry in the near future you're going to have maybe um, connecting with them on an intimate level or just physical intimate because of the passion or just really messaging each other even if you can't be together the Six of Cups on your mind. So some of you, if this is someone from your past, you may not want to uh, revisit this relationship or you thought they wouldn't come back anymore. And it could be someone that's in and out of your life all the time. The Fool reversed. So in your foundation, you feel like... Um, this could be risky because of their behavior or they feel that this could be risky somehow. Uh, let's see what this is. The Four of Pentacles in the past. So you've let go of them. Or they did of you, okay? Because the Four, four of Pentacles is also someone that is not holding back anymore. 
and it could be connected to your past, but maybe there that you never had a relationship. The Six of Cups, you don't have memories in terms of uh, in terms of romantic relationship. Um, so you may just know them. How do you see yourself, Cancer, June twenty twenty? Ooh, in the environment you have a four of wands, so proposal, commitment. But there is something that with the ten of pentacles, what's the outcome? So some of you may have been married to this person before, um, and you're definitely moving on now with someone else. The relationship, the Ten of Pentacles, could be also a situation that you had trouble, uh, could be involving family life and family relationships, and you're moving on from that. So you're living, even though that happened, you're living that in the past, you, you're you moving on. Ooh, the Two of Cups. To be with someone, uh, maybe it could be the same person. Or this could be a reconciliation, yes. You move on from what has happened in the past with with them. But if this is someone new, you definitely have here an energy of someone. Uh, could be you there moving on from one person to another. Okay, finding your soulmate. Finally working out um, even arrangements, family arrangements if you have children. And the Two of Cups is that type of um, reconciliation. You've got the Four of Wands. So let's see what this is. And the Four of Swords is how you see yourself. So you need to think. I feel you're still kind of uh, hurtful, uh, feeling hurt. This was hurtful and you're feeling hurt about this. There was things that were said. The Ten of Cups, yeah. So you could even be reminiscing on, on a relationship that didn't fulfill you or was a, you had a breakup, you had to break up here. Even considering if you should take them back or not. Um, but some of you kind of took your time to recover from a bad relationship and now you're going to find your true love. Yeah, it feels you're going to be with the person that is right for you. <clears throat> if it's not the one from your past. For some of you, it could be the same person. Okay, there's a, um, two groups of you. Let's see who this Two of Cups is. Princess of Cups and the Four of Swords. So again, the Four of Swords. And this is you. The princess is something new, okay? So, or it's a, a new phase here, moving on from what happened. Maybe you've got a princess here. It could be when you were younger, someone that you, you've dated when you were younger. You have a princess here from, from them, have a, a daughter. Um... So maybe you've, you've stopped talking to, to this person, okay? There was um, trouble communicating with them. The Five of Cups, you actually, um, I feel you moving on and you, you may be cutting them off completely. The Four of Wands is uh, maybe you've moved, moving away from, from them and leaving this behind. But for others of you, it's really the problem is the lack of communication, the lack of honesty here as well. And even um, stop crying over what went wrong and the lies always that always. <laughs> Maybe there was always lies. <laughs> uh, there was a lot of lies there. 
um, the Ace of Swords, yeah, and misunderstanding each other, Ten of Wands. So I feel you kind of was very difficult to communicate with them, was difficult to have an honest relationship with them, was difficult to trust them. So what's this four of wands in the environment? So someone sees you as, you know, some of you, this person is coming back to marry you, to be in your, in your life forever, you know, <laughs> like not forever, nothing is forever, but to give you commitment. Eight of swords. And no more waiting with the hangman, okay, upright. And I think you've seen this person for who they really are. Um, the three of wands is really having this commitment that is going to go long term. And you've been waiting for this. Some of you have been waiting for this. The eight of swords, you've been kind of going around and around in circles. And you could have just be playing on your mind this relationship and... Uh, you've imagined being married to them. Imagine you've been wanting to be in a relationship, some of you. And there you go. You've got a Prince of Wands coming in. Very, very fiery energy. Could be a fire sign. Doesn't need to be, but the High Priestess. You may be already sensing this because this is your sixth sense, Okay. You know they're about to come in. You can feel it. And also you've got you've got Pisces energy. Some of you are Pisces. It could be also a Cancer. The Three of Pentacles. Right. Some of you, you sense that this um, could also be a Cancer or a Gemini, a Emperor, um, Aries. Okay. The Emperor Reverse, it's something that is you feel like you're losing control of the situation or um, it could also be a boss, okay? Maybe you work with them and you no longer are able to work it out with them, okay? So if there's no, if it's someone from your past and it could be a father figure, father of your children and you can't work it out, you know, you're going to stay with the high priestess. You know this. You sense this. And you sense that they're coming back um, to basically play you again. Or um, it's not a secure offer. You may have a secure offer here. But in the near future, it's going to be that drama again. You feel, you sense that. So I do sense a reconciliation definitely for some of you. Let's clarify the two of cups. Could be a soulmate, past life relationship. Princes of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles reverse. So yeah, definitely... Um, Someone that you had, again, maybe have family. This could also be family situation, reconciling with a family member. Judgment, yeah, making that final decision. Someone wants a second chance, Cancer. Someone wants a second chance. Could be a Libra, justice is reversed, and the Six of Wands, or the victory, victory reversed. Maybe it's someone that you've divorced, even you have to let go completely, or they're coming back to ask you for a second chance. But you still feel... Um, some of you, it's someone that you've separated and divorced or separated and they still want a reconciliation with you, but I feel what, or you want with them, but I feel there's no, uh, one of you doesn't want this to happen anymore. 
Yeah, they're going to message you. There's going to be back and forth communication. Yeah, there's a need to have like a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Someone that doesn't let you go or you may be struggling to let this person go. This could also be a meeting, things developing into having that uh, meeting with them. But I feel that someone is not listening. One of you is not listening to what's being said. You know, talking and one is ignoring the other. They may have tried to contact you and you've ignored or you've... Um, I see change of number, you've changed your number or they've changed their number. <clears throat> Let's see what this is. Cancer, June 2020. If you were waiting for that job interview or partnership, there could be some delays, but you're going to be able to kind of arrange a meeting somehow. Uh, it could, over, could be over the internet, Skype, FaceTime, whatever. Oh, wow. Gemini had this. Exactly. Hmm. Happy, happy family life. So it's definitely um, having, reconciling, you know, you don't need to be together with someone that you have family or go back to, uh, go back with them or it could be someone that you always wanted to have this happy family life you know it could it could be someone that you wanted to have a family with and now they they are here with the two of cups cancer june oh okay so let's see what this is We've got the woman holding a heart and it came out in a reverse. 44. I like the number 44. So reverse, so the reverse um, indicates the state of being emotionally overwhelmed. And you may feel this as though your love life is turned upside down. It could also refer to a... Difficulty in a family matter or close relationship. In this case, it's time to let go or resolve things now. There's also a possibility that this woman reversed is someone who brings a negative emotional influence to your life. There may be jealousy, resentment, or even more subtle manipulations going on. Don't take things personally, but uh, bring greater these things are going to bring uh, greater clarity um, stay calm self empowerment this is going to bring this situation is going to bring self empowerment and always remember to bring a loving heartfelt energy to yourself heartfelt energy so the temple path is also reversed talks about self-love as well um, that woman holding a heart receiving this card reversed is a sign that you may have fallen off your path you could be too focused on on world, worldly possessions and material gain and you simply Maintaining old and healthy habits of fear, limiting yourself and worrying uh, or doubting yourself. So there's some distractions here. You need to open your mind, meditate, open up to the presence of spirit. Not turning uh, to your, you know, to your spirit guides, to spirit basically for support will kind of uh, leave you in the dark in some way, okay? And then you've got happy family life, which is a positive one. And this is uh, fun, loving, and caring relationships. So it may be that you 
You may find this card if you're single, if there's a potential meeting for a new relationship with a woman holding a heart and a family life. I just not I'm not sensing what what's the connection here. So maybe emotionally overwhelmed, but um, there will be a happy, a happy, a happy ending to this. You know, close closeness, feeling close to um, family or to someone that you can you can work things out here with someone. If you have children from previous marriage. Um, the ready-made family might bring some challenges, but it could be your destiny in this lifetime. This card may also simplify, simply signify a celebration coming up, wedding, anniversary, or birthday party. Enjoy. Goddess of the moon, reversed. So your intuition, feeling um, that you, you're disconnecting from your purpose and truth. So this is a mes message of dissatisfaction where your inner life is concerned. It's possible that extreme worry and discontent are the obstacles so for your inner peace and the wisdom that you seek. If so, you need to let that go and renew your faith in yourself and your eternal spirit. Your soul, your higher self, knows your best, so allow stillness into your life. Listen to um, your own intuitive voice and trust what you receive. Okay, so you really need to meditate this, this month, okay, so you can have this... Um, this happiness and contentment in your life but definitely the singles are going back to date date someone new or someone asking you out yeah quickly a soulmate coming in soulmate is coming in out it's coming out of the blue it could be a friend already or you know, there is a true gem quality. The control is the, I feel that the past life that you have with this person is a concern or what happened in the past. So you feel kind of stuck. But the potential is there. Maybe you just see them as friends or they see you as friends only. And you may want things to go uh, one way or they want kind of to control the outcome or where this is going yeah it's karma so it could be a karmic soulmate it could it could be that this person you had the um karmics are short term yeah so you had a very short-term relationship with them And they may be back in. It's a karmic. And I feel you need to ice them out. You need to ice them out here. Because they're coming in to date you for a short period of time. And then let go. And you've got potential there with someone else. Okay. I feel you, you, um, it could even be someone that is married already. So don't waste your time. Realize who is really for the long, long term. And this soulmate keeps coming in and out of your life. This karmic soulmate. Don't allow this to... Um... There's a lot of family gossip. So you could meet them through family or they know your family. But I feel there's a lot of gossip around you here. Yeah. So he, 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 he may know your family. <laughs> he may know your children already. Or you may have children with them. King of Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. 
Virgo, King of Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So there's air and earth. Some of you it's air. Some of you, it's, you've got two people here. So concerns fading away because you've got a guardian angel. So honor your commitments. Loyalty is the concern. Maybe they're not loyal and you know that. So if you know that they're not trustworthy, there's no point going back there. And wise choice, you see. Seeds well planted, so don't worry because, you know, you've got, you don't need to waste time with this. Um, review everyone's motives. Don't make an unwise choice. Because you've done, you've done the work. It's, okay, some of you just keep them as friends or if you've achieved uh, here this um, time alone, this is being single, success, self-employment, you know, don't let someone come in and disturb your peace because they see you as successful and they want to date you, but I feel this is only friends. <clears throat> it's nothing... There is someone strong. For some of you in the environment, you may have someone else that could be more of um, a commitment type. Don't give up for that commitment, okay? To find the right person. Don't waste time, basically, with this karmic soulmate. And protect what you've created. Have courage and believe in yourself. Don't let yourself um, be put down by by this by this karmic. It's a lot of gossip. In uh, friends are gossiping, family gossiping. All right. So yeah, that's your reading, Cancer. I hope it helps. Thank you. Bye-bye.